हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम कृष्ण दुहन आई एम वासुवीर सिंह चुंडावत आई एम दीपक कुमार वी आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एन आई टी रायपुर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट स्मार्ट होम फॉर फिजिकली डिसेबल्ड पर्सन इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट आवर मेन एम इज टू डेवलप अ स्मार्ट होम फॉर फिजिकली डिसेबल्ड पर्सन बाय इनेबलिंग हिम विद अ स्मार्ट कार एंड अनदर सिस्टम इन हिज होम इन स्मार्ट कार द हैंडीकैप्ड पर्सन कैन कंट्रोल द मोशन ऑफ हिज व्हील चेयर और स्मार्ट कार विद द हेल्प ऑफ द रेजिस्टिव टच पैड इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन विद द सेम रेजिस्टिव टच पैड ही कैन कंट्रोल द होम एप्लायसेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्विचिंग ऑन एंड ऑफ लाइट्स फैंस एंड अदर इलेक्ट्रिकल एप्लायसेज ऑल्सो वी हैव ऑल्सो इनेबल्ड द ऑटोमेटिक लाइट इंटेंसिटी कंट्रोल एंड फैन स्पीड कंट्रोल इन द होम यूजिंग light dependent resistor and temperature sensor respectively we have used two systems with the help of two microcontrollers one system will be in the smart car of the handicap and another system will be in the home now the components used in our project are 8 mega 16 microcontroller for programming purpose ULN 2803 to prevent any type of accident that may occur due to AC current to our development board L293D motor driver IC MOC 3021 along with BT136 triac used in light dimmer circuit and also to control the speed of fan 7805 voltage regulator IC RF434 transmitter and receiver for wireless purpose LM35 to measure the temperature of the room a combination of IR sensor used in wheelchair to prevent any type of accident that may cause with wheelchair and LDR to measure the intensity of the light in the present in the room and resistive touch pad used by the physically disabled person to give the input to the smart home and S212E encoder IC for transmitter and ST12D uh, IC for receiver now coming on the circuitry we have used three ir sensors two vertically downward to detect the edge one horizontally forward to detect the obstacle which has connected to 8 mega 16 ic there is a resistive touch pad which is used for as an input device by the physically handicapped and which is also connected to the microcontroller the data is given to adc to be converted into digital form and to be shown on the 16 cross 2 lcd display the same data is manipulated and sent to ht12e encoder and which encodes four bit data in a series and give it to the rf434 transmitter the there is a address switches which are switched in identity identically on the receiver and transmitter sides there is a l293d motor driving ic which drives the motor on a low voltage and there is we have used a 12 volt battery which is connected to 7805 voltage regulator and the output is given to the microcontroller the same data is transmitted to the rf434 receiver and which receives the data and which given to the ht12d decoder which decode the data and give it to the microcontroller and and the respective appliances are switched on or off with help of relays there is a photodiode used for the intensity of the light present in the room and the data is manipulated by the microcontroller with the microcontroller for the intensity of the bulb present in the room with the help of MOC 3021 and triac BT 136 which is connected through the AC 
wires. And again, there is a LM35 temperature sensor which senses the temperature of the room and give it to the microcontroller. Again, the microcontroller manipulate the data in terms of the speed of the fan which is controlled again with the help of MOC3021 and BT136 triag which is connected to through the wires through AC lines. Friends, now we will see the working of this smart wheelchair with the help of this resistive touchpad implemented on the wheelchair. All these directions are given for forward motion, backward motion, left, right turns. These two IR sensors indicated on this smart wheelchair. These will be responsible for the movement of the wheelchair on the surface in a normal way. Suppose if there is any ditch or there is no edge on either side of the car then these two sensors any of these will be turned off then thus detecting the presence of a ditch then the even if we press the button for turn on the direction of the ditch then also the wheelchair will not fall in that direction thus avoiding the accident due to edge or a ditch as we can see this is left turn, this is right turn, so now this car moving in the forward direction, see friends as you can see this IR sensor is turned off now due to the, due to, we can see that here there is no edge, so even now if we press the button by mistake suppose it is pressed for the right turn it will not move in the right direction thus avoiding the accident it will not fall here it will turn on left side always so this is how it avoided the accident due to edge or ditch similarly it will be working for the left turn also now we will see how this smart wheelchair will avoid an accident with an obstacle in front of the wheelchair. Suppose this is the obstacle and the wheelchair is moving in the forward direction. As it will come much closer to the obstacle, it will automatically stop and will not move further in any direction. Thus avoiding the accident with that obstacle. As you can see, it is moving in the forward direction and now it has detected the obstacle. Now if I press the key for the forward direction it will not move see no motion front backward left right now if we remove the obstacle then it will be working again normally left turn right turn forward and backward so this was how our smart wheelchair worked now we will be demonstrating the use of this resistive touchpad as remote control for the home appliances. For example, switching on and off light and electric fan. The same resistive touchpad will be used as remote door opener by the physically handicapped person. As you can see, this is the control manual and we will be using this for controlling this resistive touchpad. And this is the system 1 that is the smart wheelchair of the handicapped person with this touchpad implemented on it and this is the system 2 that will be implemented in home and the, all the electric appliances for example fan and light are controlled with the AC line here so now See it's working. Bulb on. Door open. Fan on. Again. 
bulb off door close fan off now we can see the automatic light intensity control in our system using LDR light dependent resistor here it is LDR light dependent resistor which we have connected with the another system in our home now in the day in the daytime as there will be more natural light so this LDR will detect that light and the in bulb in the room will have low intensity or it can be switch off in the but in the night time as the, there will be no natural light so this LDR will detect that and the intensity of the bulb in the room will be high so you can see bulb on and now here LDR value as I have written it see you can see the intensity is increased in the night time as now it can be the situation of the daytime and the, uh, there will be more natural light falling on this LDR so the intensity of the bulb is low so intensity of the bulb will vary continuously from full daytime to evening and then night